bit about golf. I'm gonna introduce kind of the, the main points of golf, the basics to golf. Uh, we're gonna first start off with, I'm gonna do uh, probably four or five steps of the golf swing. I'm gonna first show you all the grip, show you all the back swing, the down swing, the follow through, and also your stance. Those are really main important parts of the golf swing. Uh, I'll do a quick demonstration of them. So y'all, whenever y'all do get the club, y'all will have kind of an uh, idea of what's going on. The grip is an interlock. You'll lock your finger, you'll take this, your index finger, and your pinky, and you'll match it between these two, right? And that's how you hold on, just like a baseball bat, but you just lock the fingers, and that's the interlock. It gives you control of the swing, allows you to shape shots certain ways, so. And then I'll be teaching y'all in a little bit the back swing, or the stance, first off. In a golf stance, we use a lot of sticks to help us, to help us learn and, and, and make sure we're all lined up. So the golf stance, you want to keep feet are going to be in a line, your shoulders, are normally a little open than your feet, a little open towards your target. Your hips are normally on the same line as uh, your feet. So everything's gotta be pretty much square to, take, to have a good stance. The back swing, you're gonna take the club away. You drag the club a little bit longer on the takeaway. You drag it probably a foot behind the club to get give yourself a straight takeaway. When you take it away, when you take it away, you do not lift this front foot. You see a lot of amateurs, when they take it away, they do this move. No, you don't move that foot at all. When you take it away, you use a lot of shoulder and you use your hips most of the part to take, take the club away from the back swing. Your feet stand really still and you just take it away with your shoulders and your body. Okay, and then your down swing after you get to the top is the same, you try keeping the same path. Your hands are gonna be set. All you gotta do is start turning those shoulders and these hips and let it guide down. And the only time you move your feet is the ball here. See how I turn my foot? Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. So, all right, well, uh, let's grab a club so we can go over the grip. Uh, we have no left-handers, so everyone's right-handed good. Let me give you another one. That one. That one. All right, so let me see the grip. Everyone out, y'all can get in y'all's, uh, getting a little square. I put down five golf, uh, not golf balls, but wiffle balls. We're going to be hitting towards the fence. So aim like you're aiming towards the fence. I want to come by and see everyone's grip. Y'all have an idea of what the grip is? If you don't, let me see. Let's see if it's proper, right? All right, let's see. Correct. Um, so you're right. We're close together a little while, maybe. And then put the thumbs down the line. Yeah, exactly. played golf. Okay? I'm sure all y'all have swung a golf club once or twice or watched that the other one. That works too. Alright, um, so for the takeaway, like I said, well first we're gonna work on stance. You try keeping your body really square, like like it's like an athletic position, you know, like you're doing a softball. You get an athletic position first off. You're not you're not bending low or anything, trying to accept the ball. But you bend those knees like an athlete and you just kind of drop those shoulders down just a little bit. You don't want to you don't want to be like this. You want to drop those knees and then pull those shoulders just over a little bit, just so your, your head's about a foot past your feet. Where if you drop the ball, you put the ball in right there. So, all right, let's see uh, everyone's stance. Back up a little bit front. There you go. Snap into it. There you go. Yeah, back, back up a little bit. There you go. Looks good. All right, also, one thing I noticed is y'all closing y'all's club face. Make sure your club face is squared or open. Right, just like that. That looks good. Back up for a little bit. Get those hands out, yeah. Also, another thing that'll kind of help y'all figure out where how far is, your hands kind of, kind of you, don't, you don't reach your hands, they just kind of hang in front of you. That kind of will give you an idea of how far away you need to be from the ball. So, And for the takeaway, like I said, you're gonna put it about something like about a foot behind the ball, and you kind of just drag that club on that path to help you guide your takeaway. And, it, and it's something you have to you have to drill with because you have to learn how to properly take the club away. Because if you're taking it too far outside or too 
far inside, it's going to cause for certain movements at the top. If I take it too far inside, I'm going to straight go over the top. And over the top causes a bad, inconsistent shot. So, what we're looking for is uh, consistency in golf, obviously. It's a tough sport. So, everyone pick about, either put a ball about, uh, about a foot and a half maybe behind the ball. Elbows are so locked up on the takeaway, guys. Your elbows are supposed to be pretty free and loose. Don't feel like you're like you're trying to hold these elbows from bending and stuff. They can bend a little bit. Feel free like you're trying to take it back. Just like you're this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's been a while since I played. I've, I've done play putt putt, that's all I've done. I've never been on the real golf course. head down. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say. I haven't played probably since high school. It's just going to last one more minute. Alright. We got three, we got to go run and get over there. It's a little different hitting wise, but you don't have to swing it hard to hit it hard. It's all about that feet and, uh, and down. Looks like the rain held on just long enough. Alright, next year yeah, I was picking up just in case. One minute. Woo! Nice. Uh oh, we have two competitors. got one up the edge. Knocked him over the fence. Oh, not bad. Whoa, no pressure there. Take the butts. Oops, they're listening to the video and they're in the trouble. A little competition never hurt anybody. That's what we, we did three on three for a good while over there. I think so. Let me just get it. 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 Let